Yo, what's going on everybody? Sorry I was uh, stuffing my face really quick. I had a craving for some cereal. But anyways, I saw this list in one of the deck dumps. And uh, sorry, I'm cracking up at that comment. I saw this list in one of the deck dumps. Obviously, I don't play these Nyctos versions, but I think it's important to try other people's builds occasionally. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Jace to the face, I just need this music in a bag of mushrooms. You know, me and my friends actually made that song. So I'll take that as a compliment. What up, Joe Brook? But yeah, let's just hop right into this league. A little skeptical that it works super well, but... Where's our food after? No, I don't think... I think for a little bit, I'm going to try and test decks. Like, if I play Modern, I'm going to test decks that I would consider taking to Vegas. Because I want to see if I want to go to Vegas, first off. And if I do, I want to play a deck that I've tested and I enjoy. Yeah, no way I'm playing Smallpox. It's just so bad. I wish, dude. You made some adjustments to fit all four fables in your Black Red Sacrifice deck? Good. It's probably like... I mean, I haven't thought about the exact list, but it's probably top three Pioneer cards. Do I like any Coffers variants? Yeah, I, I think Coffers is pretty cool. I want to try... I want to try this. Where'd it, where'd it go? I want to try something like this. But my league popped. Let's hop in. My opponent was last seen playing Bant Spirits. I am very skeptical this is a good matchup. But let's hope for the best, huh? Oh, uh, this has two pieces of interaction. I think I keep this. I think Professor 5 would be so dope at 6. You have to work so hard. Yeah, you're definitely not wrong. I, um... I just think I was pl trying out 6-drop Ugin yesterday, so it can't hurt to try out a more fun card. What the fuck is this? What? I'm just going to take the, the better card. The more I can stop them from gaining life, the better. It could be a Yoran deck. I imagine they're scrying to find a land. Chilling Trap. I think I just want to play on curve, get my devotion up. They could very easily play Yorion main. I'm not going to take this trade, though. Hmm. So they didn't hit the... Oh, no, they did hit a land drop. Okay. I don't think I can afford... Right, this is a wizard. They gain three life and draw a card. I don't think I can afford to let that trigger twice. So I believe I'm going to... 
They're going to get so much value, but I'm going to swift end this. I am notably kind of low on life, but I'm about to start hitting with some heaters, right? Uh, those are, I know two of the three cards in their hand. I'm trying to think if I want to just play, I think I just want to max out my devotion. What up, Red Peach? How you doing, dude? <laughs> Mr. Dingles sounds so funny to me. I was thinking about if I want to use this effect now, but... Just getting my devotion high is good. And then if I... Gives me two good blockers. If I hit a land, it's obviously nuts. If not, I have something to do. It is very sweet of you, Red Peach. I appreciate that. Okay, they hit a land. So I know... This is not my brew. I can't take credit. So this is a drain seven. Oh, I feel you on that. It's so annoying. Yeah, true, true, true. Okay, F Fenlurker gets more devotion out. Glacial Fortress. Mm, they have this chilling trap. Grey Merchant of Ass Hotel. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right. I'm happy I didn't attack there. What up, Kaburb? How's the job going, dude? Okay, I don't know anything in their hand anymore. Two cards, fuck. I think I can do this. What up, Corey? Oh, wait, no, Corey, you've been here. You just went quiet. Okay. Sorry. Ooh. How much devotion do I have? Seven? I think I'd still rather play this. It's going to really suck if they have a counter, huh? Please no counter, please no counter, please no counter. What is that heal? Holy moly. And they scoop. Let's go. Let's go. Are you not casting pure into the abyss? <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't like that. That uh, was pretty gross. Okay, Noxious Grasp seems good. 
Honestly, I think this matchup is just slow enough. Yeah, that Gary fucking slapped, huh? I think Last Hope is probably cuttable. Timoret is probably cuttable. I think probably both Timorets are cuttable. They are a value deck, so I don't know if I want Go Blinks. I might just want... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I might just prefer to play Soren, actually. I don't know if I need a, two meat hooks, do I? Yeah, y Yarek, Svenlurker, and Go Blink. Don't those just feel out of place? I'm going to try taking out both meat hook based on what I saw. Keep a hook cut connection. That's probably not a bad idea. But obviously I submitted already. Sorry if I keep rubbing my nose, by the way. I feel like I got to sneeze so bad. Like I just like, I have like dust in my nose or something. Fuck. Uh, I think this is a brew, Kaburb. They mold a six. I will keep this. It's like they play Charming Prince. It's like some wizard tribal. Blue white wizard ETBs. What's up, Duke of Donuts? Whoa, Joe Brook, what is that? Oh, Trellon emo. Let's go. Okay, Cave of a Frost Dragon. Don't think that card is particularly good. I will just push this. So I can curve out. Yeah, I I think this is just a game of value. Is this a wizard too? That's pretty cool. Exile target non-legendary creature. And return to the battlefield. I think at this time I can just play this safely. If they have spell pierce, they have spell pierce. I can't attack because of that negative four spell. I think there's some kind of infinite with Naru Meha. The hell's Naru Meha? Yeah, I'm gonna take this all day. Oh, shit. Okay, so I just need to hit a land, right? It's also probably just right to attack. While they're tapped out. Okay. Now the question is, am I going to activate this Warlock class? Or do I want to push something? Warlock class kind of guarantees a land, so I think it's going to be worth it. Another push seems nice, but I think I just want to guarantee the land. They have three cards in hand. If I take five, that's okay. A lot of informants. I have no idea how to play sacrifice decks. It'll just take some practice. I'm sure you get the hang of it. 
That's a sorcery for three. Obviously, I want to get this connections value, but I think I want to push something. When it enters, draw a card. All right, I want my Invoke Despairs to be better. I just pushed there because they're not going to be able to do anything else. Okay, maybe a Meat Hook would have been decent. Uh, feels like those are some pretty good draws. My devotion count is only at five. If I play Gary, it's a drain for seven. That's pretty good still. Yeah, Nykthos would be sick. Even this seems pretty good here. Okay, you got a 3-4. They blink it again? Or they blink the other one, I would imagine. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess realistically I can just do this. See my options. Hmm. Tap land is not good. Uh, I'd happily trade Aetherborn. I gotta keep attacking while they're tapped out. It makes Aetherborn a lot better. What? I mean, I'm still happy with that. What am I missing? All right, they don't have a Yorion, I think, because they would just attack with both. Okay, they're just value the deck, huh? Planes, three cards in hand. I haven't seen any counters. I'm just going to fire one of these off. They have Spell Pierce, so I'm going to be sad. But I did this because... Okay, it didn't matter. I did that because I figured I might want to play Hive. Oh, fuck, I did not mean to go into my combat step. Okay. I'm going to play this Warlock class and leave this up. Wizard's Retort. They are drawn cards. I'll give them that. And I really wish I had that meat hook, huh? <laughs> My deck or theirs, because I'm not playing any Turgrid. 
Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. Well, I guess they can hit my war. Oh wow. Actually, this is pretty sick for me, no? If they hit Gary. I mean, I guess even if they don't, it's pretty cool. I really, really wish I had the meat hooks. Well, we're going to start with this. Okay, but how many in this side? 30. I'm going to start with this in case it gives me something really important. None of those look really important. I guess I'll just get another Warlock class. And make a flyer. How many coffers are we playing? We're playing no coffers. I think I'm gonna lose this game. Just whiff. Play land. Play land, please. Okay, that's pretty decent. I mean, I'm pretty happy with just trading like this. Hmm. I think I go up here. Uh, okay. <laughs> I gotta hit something eventually, right? Dude, these cards are not good. They didn't play a land, so I think I'm going to play this Fenlurker. Potentially. I am definitely in a lot of trouble, though. I need to draw some piece of action. Planes? They just didn't play it. Interesting. Um... I'm going to lose two devotion, but how much do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I can play Gary next turn, I can win. Which feels pretty good. And I can actually do it with Thoughtsy's backup. What up, young peasy? How'd the streaming go last night, buddy? Yo, Stargazer Numbers. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, I don't know what their plan is with their deck, though. I'm not gonna lie. How much devotion did it, it gives two? So, I mean, they're just dead, right? 
one mana up. I'll play around Spell Pierce. Wow. Ooh, even better, huh? Dude, Gary is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Got him! There was the Nykthos. Alright, 1 0. Let's get it. They are employing the most powerful strategy in Magic Draw a Card. That is true. They are just like. Assuming. That everything is going to be a slow matchup. There's no combo in the format. Also, didn't even need it. I agree, Kaburb. That's why, like, in my list, I play the Radiant Fountain, you know? Because I feel like Mono Black Devotion doesn't need it in the same way that Mono Green does. And that's why I made mine, like, I don't think these six cards are good. I don't think Liliana's that good. I don't think Connections is that good. I don't think Invoke Despair is that good. Um, I just wanted to try this to see if I'm wrong on all accounts. Yeah, it's just... Like, I think Gary in Mono Black is actually just better than Invoke Despair. But I want to consider all these in case that new that new card is real. I will only be playing that card. I fucking hate this. I oh my god. This is what life has become. Somebody ban young peasy. He brought the bad karma. Cringe, 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 cringe. Keep your pushes for light pod and boat despair. Oh, true. Good point. Let's hope I can live that long. Oh, it has flying. Duh. I'm like, why can't I block? I think I just want to play Rider. Gets my devotion up. It lets me lifelink a little bit. Hope I don't die. Okay, flooding out is nice to see. They're a pussy? What the hell is that? And I drew more devotion. Let's go. I can't believe... Why not play out the castle? Um, I don't know why it matters. Is the honest answer, Corey. Another land? Yeah, let's just draw another... Let's draw Invoke Despair or let's draw another Gary. It's indestructible. It's probably right to just play Gary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could just... Warlock class has one more devotion. I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to do this, actually.
Hmm. Thoughtseize kind of seems bad. Maybe I just want to take... I'm just going to take the land, I think. Because this is... Can I read this card, please? I can gain a life. But I need two mana. I'm just going to take the land. I almost attacked. Why does an OP deck run runes? They draw at least? I have no idea. Maybe I should have just waited. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, next turn I can just level up Warlock class and attack. And I think they die, yeah. Right, because this says seven mana. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life they lost. So if I attack with everything, they would six would get through and it would double, okay. I imagine we want this. It's kind of weird, right? I feel like you still want. I feel like you still want some of these pushes, like you're saying for like SRAM or Where's my fourth Gary? Remember when Gary ran away from home and Spongebob looked everywhere for him? Dude, I never really watched Spongebob growing up. So I do not remember that. Side and Lily of the Veil. Vale. I wish, I wish I could. Is Leyline in Pioneer? Yes. You cannot ban the owner of this channel. What's up, Rastral? I'm going to take out of Connections. Maybe I can go down to 2 push and it down to Timurit. Try this. Ah, oh, man, this hand is kind of poopy. They kept seven. I think I should mulligan. <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks, Kaburb. You sweetheart, you. Ha. Ah. You think Meat Hook was a snap keep? Six or f five lands Meat Hook? Really? What the fuck is... I don't know any of these cards. Guess I take this thing. Yeah, but isn't it a problem if I... I think I have to take this. Enchanted creature has hexproof. They make it have hexproof. And then the next turn, they start suiting it up. How do I ever deal with it?
I think I'm going to take Alpha Authority. Well, they can give it flying eventually, right, Cooper? I just got Ragavan so hard that I had to come here and complain about it. Yes, please do. What's here? Share your woes, Zam. Damn, fucking decisions don't matter. Where's that meat hook I put back? Actually, it would be too slow. This sucks. So they kept this rune, huh? They kept a one lander, hit me with Ragavan, exiled my sideboard Thoughtseize, and cast it. Yeah, I've uh, had that happen before. Fucking blows, dude. Why wouldn't I block here? <laughs> Decisions don't matter. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I just start swinging back, right? Yo, Zam, thank you very much. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate it. Way too generous. Look at all those monkeys. Oh, if it's your prime then, hook it up. Let's see some more primes, huh? <laughs> Yo, Lord Michael, thank you so much for the follow. Yo, where's that meat hook I put back? Should I take three and castle here? I don't think I can do that. I need this meat hook, please. Oh, there it is. Meat hook, please. Meat hook before they draw something. This looks like they drew something. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> no! Okay. On the play, I kind of feel like I'd rather have last hope. Obviously, this matchup is a little shitty. It sucks that I got rid of that fucking meat hook. Can't keep this. I will keep this and put back a swamp. What's going on, our manx? Hopefully, I pronounced that somewhat right. Uh, they kept I guess I would rather just have a blocker next turn I can use this warlock class definitely feel like I lost though the fuck is this You're like my life game mono black deck. Oh, that's awesome. I, I love that deck. I appreciate you saying that. This is first strike. Fuck. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if I should just race a little bit. I I love that life gain deck a lot. I could put eight toughness in front of this thing. I'm going to try being defensive. Yeah, I might have to, but I'm also probably just dead. Right, turn one boggle and then every single turn pump it. I'm kind of screwed. Take nine here. Oh, it has vigilance too. Hey, I didn't play the deck, man. That was all you. Good job. It says trample. So I think I have to sacrifice my Aetherborn. All right, please don't play a creature plus. Could just be dead still. Yep. Uh, boggles, baby. That stinks, that stinks. I kind of think the first game was, like, pretty lucky to win. Like, I can't imagine that's supposed to be a good matchup. Yeah, fucking Boggled. Boggles is what you play if you hate magic and you hate other people. You hear that, young peasy? You hear that? Armanx, what did you play against at your local? Because I don't know many other people testing that list, so I'd definitely be interested to hear your experience. Blue-white control people hate match. I think I like blue-white control, honestly. I think that's like... Sometimes it can be frustrating, but... I like that deck. One against Mono Red and Mono White. Lost to Junsack. Oh, Junsack is miserable. You need to have, like, Meat Hook and then hopefully hit him with, like, a huge Gary. But it's definitely tough. ZNT. This guy plays a lot. Again, with seven cards in hand. I'm going to mulligan this. I have regrets. We are going to five. And my hand did not get much better, if better at all. I have a feeling they're just going to be on mono green. Oh. Ooh. Disgusting. Next one, they have four mana available to them. 
trying to join the Discord, but the link is not working. Okay, once I get the sideboarding, I'll try to fix that. Thank you for letting me know. I don't know how to change the command. I'm like an amateur streamer. Hey, look at this. That's actually kind of weak for them, though. Okay. Invite people. Edit invite link. Never expires. They played an elf. Does that work? That one doesn't... That one doesn't work either? What the fuck am I doing wrong? I think I'll just play this. More impact than Timurit right now. Amateur streamer, average magic player, above average internet personality. Well, that's sweet. Thank you. They exiled Nykthos. Oh, great. Also, this list that I copied doesn't play the two-drop exile kill spell, which feels wrong. <sighs> I would like to hit, like, Thoughtseize, I guess. Right, I can't let them play this ship. But I don't think it matters either way. You are welcome. Really sucks to be a Gary. But at the same time, now what? They just get that. I think if I was them, I would just get the uh, Sick Drop Temple or whatever the fuck it's called. Not Temple. Another War of the Spark Broken card where it taxes me every turn. Uh, feels great that they have to tank for this long. The Great Henge. And they drew Nykthos. Ah, yes. Yeah, something... God Pharaohs, right? out of curiosity I can make seven mana maybe it's just activate this now if I draw a Gary eventually it could be good still not in a great spot Oh yeah, they just get to heal for two every turn. They draw off of everything with this. Whew.
I guess my life, my health doesn't matter. I don't want to say my life. Okay. Yeah, MTG out of context. What's my devotion at 10? So if I get a Gary, I still almost kill them. But we'll see how that works. Oh yeah, they can get something with Karn. <sighs> Two cards in hand. They have two separate draw engines in play. I don't really understand what they... Maybe they bricked and they're considering killing Karn. Meteor Golem. That's a fucking card, huh? kind of interesting they chose not to kill this warlock class all right i think it's time to go tank 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 play 13 mana and the turn was going to continue awesome See, this is a matchup where I actually think Invoke Despair is terrible. I wonder if you... I kind of want to try Necromancia. Oh, sorry. That, the pipes in my house are old. Duress also. Why do you think I want Duress? Because I do not like Duress in this matchup. Like, at all. I think I want to invoke the spares out. I think I keep this. Karn and Kiora. I want to be able to push an elf, obviously. Feels a little bad that I don't have a swamp for this castle. But I think I want to be able to attack. Oh. Dude, fuck Sylvan Curated. Elvish Mystic, okay. They miss on a land. <laughs> Look at my fucking. 
fucking draw how it's developed. This is hilarious. Imagine if I necromantured Elvish Mystic. What's the worst thing for them to have here? I think it's Cavalier, no? This list didn't play Epic Downfalls. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, no, they have six mana. Do I think they have Storm of the Festival? Or... Am I even Necromantia in here? This would have been Invoke Despair, which would also be bad. Uh, what is the call? I don't think I care if they play Karn. I think I really just care if they play Cavalier. Hmm. So they did have Storm and Cavalier. PG. Dude, how many elves did they have? Top 16, they had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know they don't have lands, but that's still pretty good. Karn and Storm. If I swift end here and attack with all. I don't know if that's worth it. But I think it is better than playing Fenlurker. Only seven mana, only 10 mana total. No big deal.
Last card in hand is Storm. So the question becomes, is it better to hive? Put them to one? Or stop the storm? And I think I want to stop the storm. Hey, top deck. Can't be Cavalier. I just ripped a storm. And I exiled it. I'm at 38 life. Okay, that's fine. A new Cruvis. Gary? Don't think it matters. Maybe this was the losing line, actually. I'm going to get rid of this curated. Okay, now I feel like it was a good line because a Gary is just lethal. So is the Invoke Despair. Okay, that's a little unbelievable. Wait, they're dead, right? If a creature died this turn, okay. Okay. Reading cards is good. Reading cards is good. Oh, I was going to win next turn. Okay, the Necromentress didn't feel terrible. But this didn't feel great. So maybe I will try the Duress. Row, row, that was quite sweet. Well done. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? So how hard would it be to get you to try one Boseju and one Torment? In this deck? I would... Wait, is Boseju legal?
I would literally pay you to not play those cards. This is very decisive. So I guess we have a bidding war on our hands. I th think I'm just going to try this. I don't want to take out all these. Let's start at 10. Uh, this hand is not great, but I'm also not going to mulligan kill an elf interact on two. Like, kept seven, of course. Let's go. Hey, unless you guys are friends, you don't got to be so mean. <laughs> like I say, unless you're friends. Yeah, if you are friends, you should be meaner, essentially. I expect someone to be crying. Dude, I don't know how you just grind mono green day in, day out. Yeah, no, this is a pioneer. That's why I was like, is that legal? Next turn they can play Karn. So I think this is better. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, if this was modern, I'd maybe consider it. Like, I'm not against the idea. But I was like, I don't think you get Torment mana in Pioneer. What does that emote mean, Taryn Coleman? Jabated. Three mana. Nick those. Oh, interesting. It's probably just Fenlurker time. Give them less options. You got baited, aka punked. Wow, they got rid of a Kiora. I just never feel good playing against this deck. Also, I wish I was on my Veto version. I think we'd have a better matchup, Cavaliers. Suck my balls. Ooh, even worse. Even worse. A land and cavalier. Fuck off, man. And then they get the storm again next turn because this list doesn't play trespassers. Okay, it literally doesn't matter because Storm is coming. <laughs> I love it. Hit a Kiora and a Cavalier, please. Oh, I was pretty close. I was pretty close. I was pretty close with that. Nine. I don't think I need to block quite yet. It's 
is awesome. Okay, they already drew. I did. I was thinking if I wanted to like grasp something here, but I don't think so. Okay, so I take two. I bet you they play this thing. I go up to eight. Gonna block one of these. The old legend rule would have stopped this nonsense. I didn't play back then, but I could imagine. I bet you they got something to instantly draw into Cavalier. Like the fourth old growth troll. Or maybe they just drew Storm. Because, you know, they need 22 mana. Oh, wow, that's... <laughs> oh, man. Dude. I should just play Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, outplayed. Gonna draw land and Necromantia. So I lost to Boggles, Mono Green, and I beat... I'm intimidated by 20-minute turns in Yu-Gi-Oh. Actually, before I played Magic, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! for probably, like, four years. Like, all the time. And then they just kept power creeping the game, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to try playing Magic because they have these eternal formats where old cards... Where old cards get to, like, you know, stay relevant. And then literally... Within the year of me starting, they made Modern Horizons. And I was like, why would they do this? Okay, what a shit hand. I'll keep this reluctantly. Rakdos. What? That's pretty cool. Thoughtsies I don't care about. Just take Fable because Fable is busted. Okay. Cool deck, opponent. Tap land Thoughtsies me? I feel like as long as I get to resolve an Underworld Connections, I should win. But maybe I'm way off here. I don't think I care about anything that they take here. Okay, so they agree with me about the connection. Might as well get my two for one. Please do not play Fable. Okay. Well, if this is a... I do think Connections is bad, but if this is a fair matchup, I think it's going to be good. But in this case, I'd rather just play towards a Liliana. I still don't think the card is that good. But, like, if I'm just going to get the draw card every turn, 
it will be good. If I get to ult the last hope, I'll cream my pants. Yeah, Young PZ, you should definitely try it. I think it's an enjoyable experience for the most part. Okay. Probably just connections. Oh, wait, no, no. Let's... Dude, this is awful. What the hell? I played my land... I don't think I do this now. A zombie with decayed. Okay. They have fiery props, right? If they just rip indomitable creativity, I will be sad. They have Fiery Prophecy. I played my land drop. Guess I attack first. And I can hold up push if I need to, but I will Thoughtseize here. Okay, just a land. Awesome. It's good. It's better more times than it's bad. It's Phyrexia or another requires a man every time. Two blood tokens. Fuck, that is kind of scary. Yeah, I don't think anyone plays standard nowadays, do they? Maybe just on Arena? But Arena's got like 45 made up formats, so. Does anyone know what they transmog into? You're going to ask me? I was going to ask you. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just going to play one of these for devotion. Xenagos plus a 15-15 worm and they surrendered? Ooh. Okay. I think I want all of these cards. Now to find room for them. Once again, I think Timret not that good. I don't think I want the meat hooks. If I was going to creativity, I'd want to be able to cast the things in grindier games. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. Tiago, first off, how you doing? But second off, are you sure that's what they play? Like, am I about to get you baited, as that guy said, and 
Necromentia and hit nothing. Which is fine if that's the case, but... Okay. I will take your word for it. You seem confident. Lily, the last hope is probably not good enough. Don't I just necromancia the creativity thing? I guess I could do that, yeah. But they might play the other card. Um, they mold, let's go. They might play, isn't it like three in a red? Wow, what a curve I got going. I think I still play this Aetherborn. Yeah, hopefully they have a terrible time, huh? Drew a land. They had two more lands. Try hardify. Okay, they have creativity online. I mean, if they don't play creativity, I 100% do that. That's kind of cool. Um, I could consider having a castle up. Dude, it left the chat again. I know you like this being here, Corey. Let's see if I can get it to rejoin. is fine by me. I kind of think I should just push this. Get my hand size low. I'm fine doing this now. Yep, let's go. That's exactly why. Indomitable creativity. <laughs> oh, let's freaking go. They bring in a third thing to transmog from the cyborg. LMFA, you have one more viewer than Seth Manfield? Who is Seth Manfield? But that's crazy. Thank you, everybody who's here for watching. I uh, don't deserve it. Thank you very much. And then you said, what set had last released when you started playing Magic? So I played a little bit in college when I think like I first looked at the game when Green Black Energy was a thing, but I didn't really play much. And then I played a little, like, in my apartment with my roommate when I think Ixalan was a thing. Like, is that when Carnage Tyrant came out? And then I really started playing when I got a free box of Dominaria from Amazon.
Oh, Seth Manfield is a pro. I'm going first. I'm keeping this. Prowess. I fucking hate this old scar. Don't play Shredder. Okay, this is fine. I think I'd just rather minimize the damage I take. Let's check this shit out. Ooh, wow. They do have Shredder. They be shredding. Not gonna lie, this list has felt worse than my Vita one to me. Maybe it's just playstyle, but not been a fan of how this is going. Man, both of these seem kind of appealing. Next turn, I'm going to be playing Invoke Despair, so I think I want to take Rider to set up this turn. And I'm going to attack yeah, I am about to be shredded cheese. <laughs> okay, sick. Young Pyro, I'm fucking done. Holy shit, man. They got rid of a reckless rage. This Evoke Despair always looks good. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, just two Reckless Rages. I'm about to kill a token with my five drop. This is why this card sucks in Pioneer. And I stand by it. Meat hook, meat hook, meat hook. <laughs> ah, get wrecked. Calculated. <sighs> Don't you... Okay, I thought they were about to just play Treasure Cruise. Now I invoke to spare this. No, Cabal Stronghold sucks. Unfortunately, that card is just really, really, really bad. Do not play it, please. It doesn't count. It's like only basic, so like Urborg doesn't activate it. Okay, this is fine, right? Do that meat hook draw? Mwah. Yeah, don't play that card though. I tried it a couple times. It's really, really bad. You are welcome. Yeah, I try to save people. I've 
I try to play the shitty black deck so other people don't have to. <laughs> Meat hook draw, what do you mean you always had it? True. Calculated. I had this. Concession. Can we get a 3 2? Thank you because I really didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Take those thought seasons out of your sideboard, dude. What the hell are you doing? Take them out. I think I'm going to play Prediction Time. If, if someone who's a mod wants to do that, Hold on a second. Let me see. It's a little cheap considering I won a game, but we'll see something. I also got to consider the sideboard plan. How do I do this shit? Amateur streamer. Sorry, everybody. Thank you again, everyone, for watching, though. I do really appreciate it. I got to defer this to my IT guy. All right, Sam, if you can figure out a prediction. Go blank actually seems kind of appealing, except they're on prowess, so fuck that. The Fen Lurkers might not be that good, right? Like, what are they doing? I know, like, Connorman would tell me to take out thought seizes, but I disagree with him on that. Soren seems kind of appealing, but maybe this is just actually really stupid of me. I'm literally playing around exclusively treasure crews. They should just be go blinks. <laughs> uh, kept seven. I can't keep this. All right. Never punished. Let's go. Don't shred me, bro. Don't shred me. Alright, this is a 2-5 already? Nice little bit of anti-synergy here. Turn 3. Not have taken any damage yet. Dude, did I just predict this or what? They play Bone Crushers. I mean, I got like a 1 for 1.5 there. Okay, all these cards seem pretty good. Oh, if they have another kill spell, this is worse. But I think I'm going to take this. The saga, this is called Warlock Class. Do you mind if I give everyone who's ever redeemed anything their channel points? Yes, I fucking mind. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. If you don't complete them in the queue, you can reject them. Wow. Can you, like, see how many, like, are in total for someone? I've literally never looked at any of that. Reckless Impulse is scary.
I guess they can only attack with this. Hmm, I guess that's not true. Yeah, Corey has. No no redemptions. All sales are final. One, two, three, four, five. Can they do 15 to me with two cards in hand? Because I could activate this, deal four to them, and then next turn... Yo, I'm, I'm risking it. Please don't kill my... Aetherborn. I'm looking at six. I hope they can't nine me. Shredder is probably okay for that aspect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They will be dead if they don't kill a creature. So let's not kill a creature opponent. Don't find a kill spell. Don't find a kill spell. Three, six, ten. Don't play one, don't play one, don't play one. Fuck off with this. Am I dead? Wait. No, I'm alive at one? Pop, 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 pop. What a photo finish. <laughs> Let's go. Let's freaking go. Can I see who doubted me? How does this work? I don't even know how it works, but that was a pretty okay 3-2. I did not like this was the wrong deck. Alright, let's crack this shit. Whoa, what is that art, dude? Final Judgment? Let me see this. Yo, this reminds me... I'm sure a lot of you have seen the, the Hercules kids movie. This reminds me of that thingy that keeps cutting the heads off of. Was that, was I playing against you, Eggy Bunny? GG, by the way, if that's the case. I, uh, <laughs> that, that was fucking crazy, dude. I was just like, please don't have an answer. Please don't have an answer to, to, um, Gifted Aetherborn. But that was awesome. Good games. Fucking prowess gives me a heart attack. I was not expecting you to play Bone Crusher Giant. Your list was interesting. Also, just letting you know, you probably deserve to win game one. I ripped Meat Hook Massacre. Like, you had me. All I had in hand, I think, was Invoke Despair. And then I top deck Meat Hook. So, yeah, the client kind of fucked you. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't have that. That was my drop return. <laughs> I was like, this is, I was literally saying, like, this is where I think Invoke Despair is terrible in Pioneer because, um, like, I'm about to kill a token for five mana and draw two, and then I rip Meat Hook. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking messed up. But good games. What's up, Nuke? 
What is up, playa? Thank you again, everybody, for watching. If you enjoy the stream... I just got fucking chicken but I, I lost my train of thought. But if you enjoy the stream, please hook me up with a follow or like subscribe to my YouTube. That'd be cool too. Join the Discord, whatever. No one doubted. Let's go. Sneaky Labee.